evening and welcome. Tonight we're going to be going over the alphabet of the Indian language of Tamil. This is going to be the last video of my Sri Lanka series. Tamil, like I said, is primarily spoken in India, but is definitely also spoken in Sri Lanka by the Tamil people that live there. So I didn't want to forget them, so I'm including them in the Sri Lanka series. Um, however, like I said in my video yesterday when we talked about Sinhala, I've been um, pretty unwell this week. I've been studying languages and um, really didn't have the time or energy to really devote to um, deeply studying these languages, especially since they are pretty complicated, considering, especially with um, Tamil, that there are 247 letters total, even though most of them are just combinations of the main letters. Um, that's a lot to study. So, um, yeah, tonight we're just going to go over the basic Tamil alphabet, which is actually, um, like Sinhala, really fun and really interesting. Um, you know, I was, um, going deep into Sinhala and, um, you know, it was, um, you know, a beautiful language to write, but I would get really frustrated with, um, trying to figure out some aspects of it. And anytime I got too frustrated, I would switch over to Tamil because Tamil compared to it was really easy and actually really relaxing and calming. And, um, the, um, lessons I found for it were really relaxing, almost ASMR like, and, um, even though I got the alphabet, like right off the bat on the first lesson, <laughs> I would keep going back to it and practicing it because it was so calming and fun and enjoyable. So, um, so I decided that once I get to India in my countries of the world series, we'll do a Tamil part two video where I do the rest of the letters and hopefully some words and phrases as well. So that's the plan, even though we won't get to India for a while. I want to do this language justice because it really did put me in a nice, calm, relaxed state and I really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, I really want to thank the people that put in the time and effort to put out tutorials online, especially since there weren't a lot of English ones. And, um, I mostly had to study once in Tamil. <laughs> I figured them out for the most part though. Also, as always, I apologize for the cars outside. I do live in a major city. It's the weekend as I'm filming this, there's going to be cars and I'll edit out the worst of the worst. I promise the ones you hear are the quiet ones. I promise like that one that just went by. <laughs> and, uh, one last disclaimer. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers I've received recently. Um, I have lots of exciting things planned coming up. Um, tomorrow I'm going to have, um, a new country, which sadly you'll see why tomorrow, but it's only going to have its one video all by itself. But after that, I'm so excited. Um, the country I'm doing is like one of my top three countries of all time. And I have so many cool videos planned for it. I'm like itching to get to it. Oh, I'm so excited. It's literally, I'm like seriously one of my favorite countries in the have seven videos planned for it. <laughs> and then after that, I'm going to do another Let's Learn German video. And then I have two Halloween videos for you guys. So be sure to subscribe because I upload daily. You don't want to miss it. So with that out of the way, let's get to the alphabet. Sorry for the long intro. Let's get right to it. <sighs> also, what's really interesting about this language after doing Sinhala is that so many sounds are totally similar. <laughs> I can see why so many Tamil Indians moved to Sri Lanka because um, even though the languages 
written out are completely different. They've derived from completely different languages. Um, lots of the sounds are the same. Like, once I go through the vowels, if you've seen the Sinhala video, all the vowels in Tamil exist in Sinhala. So let's get right into it. Of course, starting with A, we have A. Ah. Make sure. Yep, everything's in frame. Cool. Ah. And that is a soft A. It's in the word father. Ah, it's in father. Ah. And this is a short A. Just like Sinhala, like I told you. Be sure to check out that video if you haven't seen it. Actually, when I was editing it just now, it's really relaxing to watch me draw all those shapes and curls and everything. And I'm sure this will be just as relaxing, but be sure to check that out if you haven't. Anyway, short A, so ah, ah, which means we have a long A. Here it comes. Oh, my cat's looking himself. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. So ah, uh, but long. So ah, uh, and every tutorial I watched, I watched quite a few. Whenever they did a long vowel, they drew it out so long. So I'm wondering if it's meant to be that long. I don't know if it was just for like, I don't, I don't know. But they would go like, ah, ah. <laughs> so I don't know. It was, they would say, ah, ah, it would be so short. And this would be, ah. I don't know if it was just to drive the point or if that's how it's taught, but they, they definitely drove home the point. So short and long, ah. Ah, uh, that's how I teach short and long. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Moving on to E. This is the most beautiful letter in this alphabet. Um, maybe one of the top most beautiful letters in any alphabet I've drawn. Um, rivaling the the S in um Burmese, but it it's it's another letter that either I nail it or I mess it up. And I really don't want to mess it up because it's so pretty. So let me, here we go. Oh, close enough. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's so pretty. It's a little lopsided. It's tilted that way, but I'm kind of maneuvering around my mic here. But this is E as an in ink. E. And this is, of course, the short version. E. It's pretty. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And um, here's the long E. And now, this is one of the most beautiful shapes I've drawn for this language series. And here's one of the ugliest. Here we go. <laughs> like, okay. It's really... I guess... <laughs> So here's E. Long. E. 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 Looks like a door. Oh well. I, I don't get why. Like, this makes sense because it looks similar, but whatever. On to the U's. So this is ooh. As in umami. Ooh, ooh. Which is the short version. And here's the long version. Mm -hmm. So this is. Ooh. <clears throat> Sorry. This is ooh. Long. So, ooh, 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 ooh. Make sure that's nice and curled. There we go. Uh, 
And like I always say, if you haven't seen a language video of mine before, I can't draw in a straight line and I can't draw anything the same size. So expect that to happen. Moving on to the east, we have E. Eh. This is E, eh, as an elephant. E, eh, E. Eh. And I have a squeaky chair. And guess what? This is the short version. E, eh, E. Eh. Here's the long version. E, eh, long. Same thing, but with the tail. So, E. Eh, 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 eh. Here's another really beautiful letter. And again, either I mess it up or I nail it. I've really been practicing. This is like the only letter in this one that I've like really been practicing. The rest I like totally get. But anyway, this one's really neat. Oh, I got it. <laughs> it reminds me of a butterfly. But, um, this is I, like the word I. And just like Sinhala, there's no long or shirt, short version. I almost said shirt version. It's just I. I. A beautiful butterfly. Next we have the O's, and just like Sinhala, we have three different O's, and they're pronounced exactly like the Sinhala O's. I swear, you guys. Here we go. This is really cool, too. So this is O, pronounced just like the word O, and guess what? It's short version, O, O. Here's the long version. O, long. So we have O, 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 O. And finally, just like in Sinhala, here's the last O. And this is ow. Just like the word cow. Ow. And those are our vowels. They do have one special one. They count it as a vowel, um, but it, it's like it is, but it isn't. It doesn't belong in any category, but they just throw it in with the vowels. And it's these three little dots, and they pronounce it as ak. Um, it doesn't have a sound officially. It's just um, mainly used for grammar purposes, or it gets thrown into words if it's um, a foreign word with a sound that doesn't exist in Tamil like um, the letter F. Um, it's just good to know. But um, yeah, it just kind of gets tossed in there. Man, I spent forever trying to figure out what this meant. Because <laughs> um, I, I kept finding all these tutorials in Tamil and I, uh, I figured out for the most part what everything else meant. But this explanation was always in Tamil and I was like, what does it mean? And whenever I'd find an English one, they would just say, oh, don't worry about this. And I was like, no. So I finally found out Wikipedia. Yes. <laughs> so let's go over it. We have a, a, e, e, u, u, e, e, i, o, Oh, ow. Let's erase and say them together. First we have ah. 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 E. Oh, so pretty. E. So ugly. E. E. All the rest of the letters are pretty, I promise. Ooh. No. Ooh. Ooh. This one is. Ooh. 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 Eh. 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 I. I. Oh. 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 Oh, ow, ow, and ak, ak. 
moving on to the consonants. Um, now, last video with Sinhala, I talked about abugidas. Um, an abugida, like I said, um, I'll describe it again just in case. So, in English, when we have a consonant, um, they just make the sound that they are. So, like, the letter L is pronounced L, the letter M is pronounced M, the letter N is pronounced N, right? But in an abugida, the letter L is pronounced La, and M is pronounced Ma, and N is pronounced Na. Now, so, like, in an abugida, um, each symbol has a consonant and a vowel in one symbol. Whereas, um, you know, otherwise it's just the one sound per symbol. So interestingly in Tamil, um, if the symbol um, has a dot on top. So let me show you the first letter, actually. Yeah. So this on its own is ka. But if you put a dot on top, it erases the vowel sound. It's just a k sound. Very interesting, I think. So sometimes it's like an abugida and sometimes not. So just for the sake of this video, just to make things easier, we're going to make it um, have a vowel sound. I don't know why it's easier to learn it that way, but I don't know. It just is. It's easier to say ka than k, you know. Here we go. Ka. So this is ka, a K sound. Ka, ka, ka. All these sounds are very, very simple, and a lot of them have um, similar sounds. There's lots of N's and L's. Um, speaking of N's, here is a na sound. This is a na. There's a few others. Yeah, there's a few others coming up. But that's one of them, na. And, um, you know, just like in English, there are letters that sound the same, but they're completely different. You know, C can have the same sound as an S, you know? It all just depends on spelling. Speaking of, this next letter is um, mainly a sa sound. Check it out. mainly a sa, but sometimes it can be a cha sound, but most of the time it's a sa sound. Um, here's a cool one. This one's really pretty. I mean, they're all, well, 90% of them are really pretty, but check this out. Sorry. Isn't that cool? This is a nya sound. Nya sound. So we don't have this sound in English. It does exist in a lot of other languages, though. So, um, think like the country. Kenya. Nya. Nya. Nya sound. Nya. Here's an easy one. <laughs> Boring, ugly, but easy nonetheless. This is ta. This one's really fun. Did you get dizzy? This is a na sound. Na. This one coming up is cool. This one we don't have in English also. Let me write it first. So this sound is da, da, da. It's like um, a combination of ta and da. So let me think of how to say it because it does exist in other languages. So, da. Um, kind of think, um, put your tongue on the top of your mouth and say ta at the same time. So da, 
da, da. So it sounds like you're saying da, but you're really saying ta. Try it, try it, try it. Put your tongue on the top of your mouth and say ta, da, da. That's the sound you should be making for this. Not exactly ta, not exactly da, somewhere in between. That's the sound you should make. Here's another na sound. Here's another boring symbol, but sometimes boring is good. A lot less worrying for me. So this is ba. Ba. Okay. Ba. Ba. So even though this is a P, it's not a hard P. It's not a pa sound at all. Um, think of it as almost like ba. Um, there is no B sound in Tamil, so think of it almost like the B sound. Um, it's halfway between P and B. So, um, make like, I'm sorry, I'm watching my cat dream. Um, make like your, you make a P sound with your lips, like put your lips together like you're going to make a P sound, but then say ba. So, ba, ba your lips together like you're gonna say p pa but then say ba 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 your lips should close and then ba like ba 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 like that it's a very gentle p sound um what are my examples i had like a list of like soft p examples um i don't want to flip through my notebook to look them up um, what were they? Oh, I remember stop. Um, I had a really good one though. Um, well, I'll just use stop. Because you don't say stop, right? You don't put a hard emphasis on the P and stop. You just barely say P. P. So, pa. Moving on to less complicated letters. This is ma. Ma, just regular old ma. Um, oh, shimmy over here. And this is ya, just regular old ya. And now we're on to the R sound. So there's two R's in Tamil. If you know my language series, R's are complicated in every single language. Every single language, there's something weird about R's. Tamil's no exception. So there's two R's in Tamil. And this is the first one. Thankfully, they're not that weird in this language. So, um, it is a ra sound, but it's very lightly rolled. It's ra, ra, ra. Almost like my last series I did on, um, well, I guess my last series is on Nauru, but the one before that was Australia. Um, the R's in that language, um, which, um, Dudu commented who lived in Australia and knew the language. Is it Pit Chanchichara? Um, anyway, help me out. Um, he said I did a good job explaining the R, and it's the same exact pronunciation, so it's a very light, almost like a cat purr, ra, 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 just barely with the tip of your tongue, ra, ra. Um, not a heavy roll, and you'll see why later. Um, next is a la. We've got quite a few la's in this language, so here's the first one. This one's cool. This is la. Um, almost reminds me of the la in um, Burmese. Very close, but not quite. It doesn't have the loopy, but anyway. And then we have va, which looks almost like it, but it's, yeah, it goes in, up, <laughs> va. I almost messed it up, but I saved it. Okay. This one is another la 
and it's a little complicated. Make sure, yeah. I don't want to mess it up. It's like one of the hard ones. So this is another la, but it's um, it's almost like a halfway between ra and la. It's a la 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 sound, um, but um, it's it's a la sound basically at the end of the day. And then here's um, oh, and this is the important one because this is the l sound in Tamil, um, so it's like the most important la sound also. But here's another la sound. watching my cat still. <laughs> All right, on to the next R. So here's another Ra, but this one is rolled, like hardcore rolled. It's Ra, 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 Ra. Like roll this one as hard as you can. Like roll it like you've never rolled an R before. Roll it like crazy. This one is super rolled. Oh, the cat's awake. Oi. Oh, are you having a good dream? Anyway, not distracting myself with the cat. Okay, roll that R. Ra, ra. Roll it like crazy. <sighs> Moving on. Another na sound. Um, it's very similar to this one. Only has two curls in it. Na. Again, it all depends on the spelling. Now we move on to a special section called the um, Granta. Maybe I'll write them down here. These words were added later to the language um, because they're based on other sounds and letters from other Indian languages in order to say words and sounds from those other Indian languages. So they were added later to the Tamil alphabet. Um, so they're not a part of the original, like, OG alphabet, but, um, yeah. We don't really have, like, an equivalent of that in English, so it's kind of hard to explain, but, um, yeah. And, um, it's complicated because with the dot, they make a completely different sound, so. It was one of those things that, um, I didn't have the time or energy to dive deeper into, but it will be once I get to the part two, so we're just gonna learn the, the no dot version. So the first one is Ja. This is Ja. It's really pretty. All these ones are really pretty also. They're really complicated. <laughs> like these basic ones are so simple and then like the other letters are like these basic shapes like mushed together and they get more and more complex but they're also like really beautiful. Um, next we have sa. Sa. And, um, oh, this one. I love this one. This one reminds me of Burmese also. I really miss Burmese. I might do a Burmese part too also because I kind of, I kind of miss Burmese. Anyway. Isn't that pretty? This is sha. Sha. Next one. This one is ha. Ha, H sound, ha. And this next one is really cool. It's a combination of this sound and this sound. So it's these two symbols mushed together. It's really cool. And guess what? It's ksha, ksha. So it's literally K sound and sha sound. Ksha, ksha, ksha. It's really clever. It's a good example of like the next level of letters because they're all pretty much like this. They are all letters mushed together, <laughs> which kind of shows you why. Like, I was like, okay. I don't have time to learn 200 more of these. It's just too much. <laughs> like, I just couldn't do it. So, 
but I really wanted to because they're really, really cool. So I will do it another day, I promise. Once we get to India, I'll do Tamil part two and hopefully do some alphabets of some other Indian languages because these are so gorgeous. Look how pretty, look how pretty, look how pretty. Oh, it's so much fun. And like I said, like I got this far on the first go and like nailed it and went like, that was fun. I moved on to Sinhala for like an hour or so and then just like went back to Tamil and was just like writing these letters over and over having like so much fun just writing them even though like I had them down. It was just so relaxing to do. I'm like really fond of this lettering system and even like um just like a side note I started like a new job. I started two new jobs actually and when I was on break today I was even like doodling some of these to like relax. It's so nice. Anyway Let's erase and practice them. Actually, first let's practice them and then we'll erase and practice. So we have ka, na, sa, cat's having a bath, I apologize, <laughs> nya, ta, na, da, remember that one, da, na, ba, ma, ya, Ra, la, ba, la, la, ra, na. <laughs> the cat like stopped when I rolled it anyway. Ja, sa, sha, ha, sha. You got it? Did you practice? Let's practice together. Ka, ka, cat, na, sa, nya, nya, ta, na, ta, ta. sounds going to come up in a lot of other languages, so be sure to practice that. Na, ba, ma, ya, ra, la, Fa, la, la, ra, na. <laughs> the cat's now really awake. He's gonna start begging for snacks. Ja, sa, sha. Huh? 